Hi everyone, this is Citrina, and today I am talking about crystal grids. So this is a sample crystal grid, and I placed the crystal grid on my selenite slab. This is a selenite slab that the grid is on. So it's placed on another stone, basically. And I have used two different types of stones. I have used rose quartz, and I have also used quartz with tourmaline in the quartz. So this is also known as tourmalinated quartz. And it gets its name from the fact that it is a quartz stone, but it does have black tourmaline within the stone. So if you can look at that, you can see all of the bits of tourmaline in the quartz. So I like to use equal number of what I call my runner stones or my helper stones. So if you see, I have four smaller pieces of rose quartz, and then I have four smaller pieces of the quartz with the tourmaline. And then my middle stone is my focus of the grid. So it's okay to have one of this stone one piece of this stone on the grid. So I have a total of nine stones on this grid. You can use whatever number you would like for this particular grid. Like I said, this is a grid for to manifest love into your life or loving situations. So rose quartz is the perfect stone for that because rose quartz is the stone of love basically. Now, I have used this particular quartz because of its grounding energy, also because of its protecting energy, because of the tourmaline inside of this quartz. Not only does it amplify, amplify, amplify love, which is the rose quartz stones, it amplifies love, but it also protects. It protects and amplifies. That's what the terminated quartz does. It protects and it amplifies because quartz is an amplifier stone. Now, as I mentioned, you can use any number of stones you would like. You can use any number of patterns you would like. I like a matching pattern. So all of my runners are placed directly across from one another. And it looks like a circle, um, but in another way, you can see that each of the matching stones are directly across from one another. And then my focus of the grid is in the middle. And I like for my focus of the grid to be larger than the other stones. So this is one example of a crystal grid. Now, also, if you don't want to... Let's say you're really trying to manifest something. So this is my pyramid. I use this for manifesting. I'll put, you know, write down on pieces of paper what I'm trying to manifest and I'll put it in here amidst my grid. Or sometimes I'll just sit this out on the windowsill or I'll just sit it outside in the sunlight or the moonlight depending on what I'm trying to manifest. So this is another example of how you can set up your grid. Because whatever is on my paper in here, it has something to do with all of these stones. All of these stones are helping me to manifest whatever is in here. So this is just an example of a crystal grid, you guys. And I do recommend that everyone try it. See if you like it because it's a great way to manifest. Um, of course, prayer. Um, should be used and also if you just want to feel creative you know like you're taking things into your own hands I definitely recommend crystals prayer first crystals also you know just whatever works for you so again this is Citrina thank you so much for liking the video sharing the video and subscribing to the channel I greatly appreciate it Please visit my website, metaphysicalmoonlighters.com.
and I can schedule a reading for you or you can schedule a reading there. And until next time, practice with your crystal grids.